this video, we will cover the basic setup of a Forta Sandbox unit and Forta Sandbox Cloud, both integrated with a FortiGate. Forta Sandbox receives submitted files from various devices, including FortiGates, then alerts administrators for a variety of different threat levels. Your FortiGate has two options that we will set that work with signatures the Forta Sandbox creates for files that it's already processed. Using Use Forta Sandbox Database, we'll use a signature to determine the status of a file that matches an already processed one, and the FortiGate removes the appropriate session, canceling the download. This works no matter if the transport method of the file differs. Using block malicious URLs discovered by Forta Sandbox, we'll utilize the web filtering of your FortiGate to simply block access to that URL. We'll start by showing you the setup of Forta Sandbox Cloud. The initial configuration on the FortiGate will be the same as for the Forta Sandbox physical setup we will show later. Here's what you will need. A management machine, a FortiGate with active antivirus and web filtering services, an internet connection, and a FortiCloud account giving you access to Forta Sandbox Cloud. A trial is available from your FortiGate's dashboard for a limited amount of files to be sent per day. From your FortiGate's license information widget, choose Configure from the Forta Sandbox section, or use System Cooperative Security Fabric to access this area. Toggle Sandbox Inspection to On. If your Forta Sandbox Cloud option is grayed out, choose Activate Forta Cloud. Log in, or create your Forta Cloud account directly from here. OK. Apply. Now, let's activate those two options we just looked at. This link will take us to the antivirus security profile. Next, we'll choose All Supported Files to send. You can add exceptions below if need be. Toggle Use for the Sandbox Database to On. Apply. Next, we'll go to the Web Filter Security Profile, and we'll turn on Block Malicious URLs Discovered by Forta Sandbox. And now we'll need to ensure both security profiles are active in the Internet Access Policy. We'll turn on Antivirus, Web Filter, and SSL Inspection if you've already configured it. Now it's time to download some test files. The current submitted file count will appear in the Forta Sandbox section of the License Information widget on your dashboard. Let's have a look at the results in FortiView by going to FortiView, Forta Sandbox. Here are all of our submitted files. Let's clean this up by filtering for high statuses only. and you can right-click to quarantine the source address. We can also check the results from fortacloud.com. Let's have a look. By logging in, selecting our FortiGate, we can see one new suspicious file here. We'll click it and see it's high risk. Here we can see more details about the file, such as which IP had downloaded it, where it came from, what its rating is, file name, which VDOM, and with known malicious files, the name of the virus will appear here, as well as its virus ID within FortiGuard Encyclopedia, here. And here's the time we were notified. Clicking on the information button next to the files category will show us a more detailed analysis in this pop-up. You can also find statistics of recent scans here. And you can change the notification email under Alert Setting. Next, let's look at setting up a Forta Sandbox unit and adding it to our network. Here's what you will need. A Forta Sandbox with antivirus DB contract, web filtering contract, and Windows VM and Office licenses. These are generally included in the Forta Sandbox. A management machine, a FortiGate with active antivirus and web filtering services, and an internet connection. As a Forta Sandbox unit connects to, out to the internet on port 3 for malicious traffic, it can be prudent to use a different IP for this connection to avoid negative IP reputation on a mission-critical link. 
Start by plugging your management machine into port 1 of the Forda Sandbox. Change your IP so you are on the 192.168.0 subnet. And browse to 192.168.0.99. The default account is admin with no password. We will take a few preparatory steps before giving the Forda Sandbox internet access to resolve these warnings. First, let's name our unit by clicking Change under Hostname in the System Information widget. Apply. Now in System, Administrators, let's change the administrator password. OK. Let's go to Network, System DNS, and we'll have a look at our DNS settings and modify them if needed. And now we'll change our IP in interfaces. OK. We will now lose connectivity to the Forda Sandbox. Change your management machine back to your previous network settings or DHCP and let's add the sandbox to our network. Connect the Forda Sandbox to any switch interface port on the Forda gate. This will allow our VMs to download as well as be licensed. Connect port 3 to the internet. It is advisable to not have any other machines visible to the Forda Sandbox's port 3 due to the potentially malicious traffic. Let's browse to our sandbox using the new IP and log in with our new password. System routing, we can choose which FortiGate to use for internet access, if you have multiple gateways. We're setting the route for port 1, which is used for internet access on the administrative port, for traffic like Forda Sandbox updates, connecting to the Forda Sandbox community, licensing, etc. The same can be done for the VM traffic, which is the potentially malicious traffic on port 3, either from here on the dashboard or under Scan Policy, General. and enter the gateway here. OK. I'll just refresh this page by clicking General again, and now the status icon is green, showing the connection is now active. We'll configure mail notifications now under System, Mail Server. We'll add our email server settings here. Our list of recipients the template with which our email subject line will start with, and we can also change the risk level we are notified on. OK. We will download and activate some VMs last, as this can take some time and will reboot your Forda Sandbox when completed. Virtual Machine, VM Images. and click the Download or Install button next to the desired VM if it isn't displayed as Installed. While that VM is installing, let's go to our FortiGate and point it to our Forda Sandbox. Much of the configuration we covered for Forda Cloud Sandbox is the same, but the Forda Sandbox type and entering in its IP like this. Testing connectivity shows that it is currently inaccessible. We'll need to authorize the FortiGate on the Forda Sandbox. Notifier email will email the administrator of the FortiGate on Forda Sandbox events. All right, let's go check on our Forda Sandbox and authorize our FortiGate for communication. We can see our Microsoft Office license has now applied. And if you wish to add any more, you can purchase them and choose Upload License here. Let's authorize our FortiGate in Scan Input, Device, select our FortiGate, and check Authorized.
OK. Now let's download some files. On the Fortis Sandbox dashboard, we can see one new high-risk file, and we'll click the count to get more details. We can see the file was rated by the VM engine, indicating that it was this Fortis Sandbox itself using a VM to test this new file, rather than any of the AV or community signatures. We can use the archive files drop-down to have a look at all the files scanned in the zip. And again, we can see what type of threat this is, where it was submitted from, and where it was downloaded from. Here we can see a behavior summary of what actions the file took. We'll click on the Open a New Tab icon to get more information. The previous page is now available in the left pane. And in the right, we can see which VM had been used to analyze the file, and the original and supporting files created during analysis as well as a timeline and tabulated view of the analysis in greater detail. Let's take a look. Here are the file paths and names of 83 created files and their hashes. You can also view deleted and modified files. Here are all the network behaviors with an outside destination, using the VM traffic port 3 and secondary link we set up, safely away from the rest of our network. With the new Operations Center in FortiView, you can keep track of detected threats and if they have been mitigated yet by another administrator via the actions available on the right-hand side. The results can also be viewed in FortiView on the submitting FortiGate as well. Thank you for watching, and for more technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.